Hey, I'm Janelle from Project School Wellness, and I just want to show you how to copy a Google form to your personal Google Drive. So this is really important because if you just share the initial Google form link that I provide for you with your students, then you will not be able to access their responses. Instead, I will be able to access, access their responses. So to be able to see what students put into the Google form, you need to make a copy to your personal Google Drive and then share that copy with students. So let's look at how we do this. So this is what you'd see if you just downloaded our free Intro to Health 5 lesson bundle. And if you don't have access to this, connect with me and we'll be sure that you can get it. And then we're going to go to lesson two because there's a Google Form activity here. So there's a learning station activity in the Dimensions of Health lesson. And if you're in the classroom and you want to print it off, this is the PDF version. But if you are doing Google Classroom, distance learning, virtual, anything like that, then you're going to want to use the Google Form edition. And it, they both feature the same things. It's just this is digital and this is a printed copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and click make a copy. Because I own this folder, it's not going to make a copy here. Instead, it's going to make a copy to your drive. So you want to just click show file location and it's going to take you to wherever this was copied. So once it's highlighted there, you're going to right click again. And now we're going to move it to the Google Classroom drive folder that is connected to whatever class you're going to use this activity in. So here's my Google Classroom folders. This is a test we're doing, a test class. So I'm just going to move it here. All right. So after I moved it, we're going to go to that folder. So here's my Google Classroom. And here it is. And what we're going to do here now that it's in the correct folder, we're going to rename it. So this is, I'm going to rename it whatever class it's going to. So this is going to class three to just, you want to keep this really organized so that you can access it. So after I've renamed it, I'm going to click it and it should come up in a way that I can edit it. Okay, so you also notice that if you would have clicked it open in the first folder that I initially shared, you would have only been able to view it. You wouldn't have been able to edit it. So now this is where you can edit it. So the first thing we want to do is take off this note. That was a note for, for you, the teacher, not for students. We just want to look and see, okay, do we want to add any information? And maybe in the answer here, you'd rather have a multiple choice. And so then you could just put in your students, grade eight, or sorry, the classes that you're teaching right here, and grade eight section. Maybe you're having three sections do the class. Okay, and then students would be able to select that, and then you can sort it really easily after they have all submitted the responses. Then you can look through and see if there's anything else that you would like. it. So, okay, that's that's good. And then you can either share this, this you can share that link, or you can um, attach it from this drive folder folder in Google Classroom. So now let's go to our Google Classroom. So here's our Google, and this is our class that we're working on. So we're gonna make a class, a sign. We're gonna do it, and what students are gonna do? It's Oops, sorry. Um, learning station dimensions of health. This is the activity. All right, then you can, oh, sorry. You can add dimensions here, put it there, and then you'll go to your Google. It should come up in recent. If not, you can search for it or you can go to that folder. So, as it's then, here it is right here. We're going to click add. All right, so now it's added and we wanna just change, you know, you change your points. Maybe it's worth four points, maybe it's ungraded. Do your due date, so let's just say tomorrow is our due date. Um, your topic, since it's the intro to health module, but intro to health module, whatever you want. Assign, so here is, 
from the student's point of view. So this is just using my husband's account. See, we'll reach it and the activity should be here that students are going to do. All right, and it is loading. Okay, so here is the activity we just assigned. And you'll see, you can, students would click it, they would then enter their information, right? So, same in this, then what's next, and then they would go through the whole learning station activity. Then when they're done, they'd hit submit, and then they would mark done, and mark done, that's it. Then back on your side as a class, you would be able to see what students have submitted. So I hope that that is a useful tutorial showing you how to copy Google, Google Forms. Remember, it's incredibly <laughs> important and necessary that you copy your own or copy the Google Form to your own drive. If you don't, you will not be able to access your students' information. So if you have any more questions about this, please don't hesitate to connect. You can contact me at projectschoolwellness.com slash contact. Thanks and have a fantastic day.